Yo, what up, boy gamers out there? The name's Second Heat, and I'm bringing you guys a team deathmatch ground war game on the map Resistance. This is actually my very first game of the day on Modern Warfare 3, and there's a good surprise clip in there that even I didn't notice till after the game, and I decided to go back into theater mode and record it. Now, what I want to talk about today is the confirmation of the already known rumor of Sledgehammer making the next Call of Duty, Sledgehammer being a part of the Call of Duty cycle. Like I said, we all already knew this, but I guess it's great to know that we all weren't really just being stupid and that it was actually confirmed by Activision themselves. Now, Sledgehammer's Call of Duty will come out 2014. That's going to be the next Call of Duty to come out. We do not know the name. We do not know the storyline. All we know is that Sledgehammer, the other, um, the co-makers of Modern Warfare 3, um, will be making the next Call of Duty and their game will be out. Now, do I believe their game will be great? Um... In all honesty, I am not sure. It is a 50-50 because, excuse me, due to the fact that they did make Modern Warfare 3, um, I do love this game. Excuse me, I do love this game. This was a pretty fun game. Um, even though there were some, some things that were wrong with it, but I guess when you compare it to Ghost, it's hardly even noticeable. But this game was a pretty fun game, so Sledgehammers did do a great job. However, in other people's minds, this was one of the worst games in Call of Duty history, right next to Call of Duty Ghosts. So, it's a 50-50. It depends on how people feel about it. And, you know, oh, by the way, this is where the clip comes in. So, I saw these guys on the radar. And I decided to go at it. There's one. One. Collateral. Boom. There you go. Quad feed, even though... That second person I killed, uh, since, her, since the names were too long, it kind of messed it up a little. But quad feed is a quad feed. I was so surprised. Like, I knew I had to have hit something, but I thought it might have been a split feed. But now that I look back at it, I, I now know that it was actually a quad feed. And I am very excited of that because, like, in Ghost, I've only hit two feeds, even today, like, I've only hit two feeds, and none of them have even been with a sniper. It's just been my chainsaw and the shotgun, so I'm glad to see that my sniping skills in Modern Warfare 3 haven't entirely gone away, and I can still hit feeds. Now, back to the topic, Sledgehammer Games. The game, the game is going to seem to be a 50-50. I guess we're just going to wait till E3 or any other, you know, even before that. But I think everybody has that feeling that E3 is going to be the entire, like, confirmation, the trailers, the announcements and stuff. E3 is going to be the event where Sledgehammer games are going to just give us information we need or at least enough information for us to start it off and then hopefully they're going to be having their own little separate press conference like Ghost did and I think Black Ops 2 also did and they're really going to spill out all the beans for us so we know what to expect. Now, next thing I want to talk about is something I've talked about in two commentaries already, because it seems like every time we keep on getting... Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. It seems like every time we have, like, an evidence of Sledgehammer's uh, making a card, I always make a, I always make the same kind of commentary, so I'm not gonna go on too long about this, but just to, just to recap, uh, how do I feel about a new company being a part of the Call of Duty cycle. I feel like this is actually going to be a great move, even though um, there might not be as much of a change as people may think. 
And I'll I'll let this clip right here. This guy thinks he can. St this guy thinks he's still shooting at me. I put up the EMP. He gets blinded for a quick sec. I jump right next to him and I kill him with the revolvers. I think the incubable magnums are the best. But anyways, as I was saying, um, even though, and I, the reason why I'm saying this is because I was watching Painkiller already, and Woody had mentioned this, and I thought about it, I'm just like, you know, that kind of makes sense. And what he was saying is that even with the extra year for making the game, um, most developers, most programmers, most whatever, not just in gaming, but in other stuff, um they really don't actually get the work done till like the to like the last second so do i think this that's what's going to be happening with the next well within the next couple years with these developers um probably however i think with the time with more time they're going to you know get things get things more going later on i mean earlier so that's my point of view. I think this is going to be a great idea. Please tell me what you think in the in the comments below. And until next time, this has been your boy, Second Heat, and I'm out. Peace.